Hello everyone and welcome. As part of the latest version 3.2 update to Pixelmator Pro, it's now possible to edit videos directly within Pixelmator, so that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. I'll start by showing you how to import, edit and export video layers in Pixelmator, and then I'm going to show you how the new video editing functionality is made even better with the new integration between Pixelmator and Apple's motion graphic editing software, Motion. So I'm going to start by launching Pixelmator and creating a new document right here. As you can see, there's a huge selection of built-in templates to choose from. In the sidebar here, you can see they're all categorized and I can scroll through them in the middle and take a look at whichever one I want to use. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to use this blank template um, here. And I'm just going to change on the right hand side, I'm going to change the size to 4K because that's the size that the video I'm going to be demonstrating with was shot in. So now that I've created my blank canvas, I'm going to pull up an image that I have stored in a folder on my iCloud Drive. So I'm just going to bring that up. And the video I'm going to be using is this horse um, video here. So I'm just going to click and drag that into Pixelmator and you can see it will instantly import it and you can tell this video layer has been imported by looking in the layers sidebar of Pixelmator and you can see this little video icon and a time code beneath that that denote the fact that this is a video layer. So now I'm just going to take Pixelmator full screen to give a bit more space to work with and I'll show you how you can work with this video. So firstly I'm going to take the video and just as if it was an image click and drag it so that it's in the middle of the screen. You can see I've got the guides to help me centralize it perfectly and I'm just going to leave it where it is there. Now beneath the canvas you can see we've got some playback controls for the video. So I can mute or unmute the video using this button on the left and I can play and pause the video using the central button here. So I'll just click to play and then I can click again to pause it. On the right we have another button which gives a few more options. So here I can scrub through the video just by hovering my mouse over the thumbnails and I can also trim the video so I can from either end of the video I can trim it to make it shorter so say for example I want to make this video roughly 15 seconds I can do so by just dragging the handle to uh, where I want it to be so I'll leave it there like. and then we've got some advanced settings so we can change where the playback starts at and then we can change the behavior of that as well now in terms of actually editing the video there is lots of control when it comes to adjusting the colors so if we go to the color adjustments menu, which can be accessed by pressing the letter A on your keyboard, I can manually alter any of the adjustment options within this panel and the video will be adjusted accordingly and with no delay. Now something I find works very well in Pixelmator is the ML Enhance option, which effectively uses machine learning to automatically apply multiple color adjustments to the video, all by clicking on this ML button up here. So where you see it says ML Enhance, if I click on that, um, and give it a couple of seconds to work. You'll see it's now adjusted the video, adjusted various um, parameters um, when it comes to color adjustments. And the great thing about ML Enhance is once it's done its work, you can actually go down and you can see exactly what it's changed. So I can see here what it's done with each of these different components of lights in this case to achieve the result that I've got. And if I'm not happy with anything, I can obviously tweak any of it um, so say if I want to bring the brightness up a bit, I can do so and retain everything else that the machine learning did for me. Once you've made any adjustments, you can play the video to see what it looks like. And you'll see there's no waiting time waiting for the uh, apply, rendering to be applied. It happens instantly since Pixelmator is able to efficiently render everything in real time, which will definitely speed things up. If you press the F key on your keyboard, you can access the effects editing options, which allow you to apply an effect to the selected video. Now these effects are essentially like image filters you'd find on most image editing applications, only Pixelmator's ones are a lot more powerful, thanks to the fact that you can customize each effect quite a lot. So I can pick any of these effects here, let's go for this number two one here, and you can see it instantly applies the effect, and I've got a bit of control down here, so if I adjust the saturation, you can see that changing um, in real time as I move the slider. So I'm adjusting the effect that it already added. But for this video, I'm just gonna stick with the ML enhancements I made earlier. So I'm gonna go to the bottom here to reset these filters because I don't wanna use one on this occasion. Finally, I'm just going to add some text onto this video. Now I can access my text tools by pressing T on my keyboard and it will bring up the text editing options. So I'll click where I want to add my text. So I'm just gonna click up here in the top left of the video 
and then I'm just going to type some text. In this case, I'm just going to type horse. Um, and then all I have to do is I can just uh, click and drag this around to wherever I want to put it. And then I'm going to apply blend effect to this text layer. So if I go to the layers panel on the side and I click at the top here where it says normal, I've got all these various blending effects for the text. And in this case, I'm actually going to choose overlay. So you can see I've got overlay here. I'm probably going to bring this down actually. If I bring this down over to the grass, you'll see the effect a bit, a bit more easily. So you can see this overlay effect has been applied. And again, I can go, go, I can go ahead and go to this video and click play. And you see it renders it in real time. You can see the text uh, overlay effect um, rendering in real time. So Pixelmator is very efficient when it comes to rendering your effects that you've uh, added to videos. So now that I've finished editing my video, I'm going to export it by clicking on the share button in the top right of the Pixelmator window. And then I'm going to choose the MP4 web video format. And I'm just going to navigate to the folder I had open earlier with all my videos in it for this particular demonstration. And then I'm going to name this video horse uh, edited just to differentiate it from the previous original video and then I'm just going to hit export and that's as simple as it is I'm just going to let it export and that's how easy it is to import edit and export video layers in Pixelmator Pro now of course you can work with multiple video layers within the same Pixelmator document and I will show you a, a, an example of this now one of the most useful additions as part of this new Pixelmator Pro update is the improved in integration with Motion. Now I have a Pixelmator document I made earlier saved here that I'm going to open. And as you can see from the layers, this has multiple video layers arranged on the canvas, as well as some text here and this graphic that I made using Pixelmator's built-in shape tool. But what I'm going to do now is go to the share option as I did earlier but this time I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and click on export and then just like I did earlier I'm going to give it a name um, in this case I'm just going to call it uh, add, mo add motion to the end of the file name and then at the bottom I'm going to make sure that I've got motion project selected and then I can choose the frame rate in this case the frame rate of my video is 60 fps so I'm going to keep it as that so now I can hit export and now if I go back to the folder where I've been storing everything you'll see I've got a new folder that's been created and if I open that you can see inside that I've got a motion file that's been generated so I'm going to go ahead and open this once the file is open this is where you can see the benefits of the integration between Pixelmator and Motion Traditionally, if I'd imported a document with multiple layers into Motion, Motion would have treated each layer as an image. But when I exported the Pixelmator file specifically as a Motion project, it's recognized the video layers here. So I've got my first video, second one, uh, and then the third video. They've been given their own groups. It's also got the text that I had, and the um, in this case it was a, a teardrop or a water um, droplet that I had, um, it's recognized that as a shape. Now the advantage of this is that, for example, with the text, I can click on the text and I can actually double click and edit the text. So I can change this text to, um, let's say if I want to change it to flowing water instead of uh, water flowing. That's something you can do that you wouldn't previously have been able to do. And this also applies to the shape. So if I select the shape, what I can do is I can actually double click on it and I can edit the geometry of the shape. So if I decide it needs to be different to how it was exported, then I have that option. And this obviously also allows me to apply any behaviors or other motion specific animations and interactions to individual elements in a file that's been exported from Pixelmator. But that's everything I wanted to show in this video. If you've got any questions on anything that I showed, then do leave it in the comment section of the video. And if you found this video helpful, then please do give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Please do also consider subscribing and hit the notification bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.